2006 Ford Ranger. We're going to be doing the P300-8P powered sub from Rockford Fosgate. Everything is pretty much all in one. So this has the amp, everything you need. Um, I did order a 8-inch SCAR amp kit that's going to go with it. Customer also have the Bose radio aftermarket already. So that's perfect. So I'll show you how to do this install. Let's get to it. Just wanted to show you what the bag um, includes. Got your bracket for the base knob, the wire, the plug for the power, two fuses, the RCA. This does come in handy. I'm going to be putting this at the back of the box itself. Um, it'll do Velcro. Stick on the side, so you can see. Perfect spot for that. And it actually fits perfectly. First things first, one, two, three, four screws. Take that off. Then we're going to be running the power cable. That's why I ran the power cable. That's the most safest one. Just cut a small little slit, insert the power cable, and then pretty much pull it all the way to the other side and give it enough slack so you can mount the fuse. Um, go ahead and zip tie this to the actual cable itself. That way it's not dangling. And then let's go ahead and take off the radio. As I mentioned before, he already has an aftermarket radio. Um, since this doesn't have the two openings for the key to just pull out like the factory, we're gonna have to remove the whole bezel. This has two seven millimeters right here in the bottom. And then just kind of slowly pry it off. And then the whole thing just comes off. I went ahead and pretty much unplugged everything. Um, that's where I ran the RCA. Let me show you real quick. You can see it's shooting through down right there. And then it's zip tied to a harness down there. This one's going to be zip tied right here. That way it's away from the actuator for the AC or the blower motor. Added a little bit of loom. Just to kind of help protect it from the metal right here. That way it doesn't rub on the actual RCA itself. But yeah, go ahead and zip tie everything. And then we'll keep on moving. So I believe this was the plug and play setup from Crutchfield. Um, they also didn't wire up the parking brake. Um, for obvious reasons, safety. So I'm going to go ahead and help him out and do that. Uh, the wire is the reverse light so i'm going to go ahead and cut that as well and just kind of put a heat shrink just to cover it up for now but we will bypass the parking brake for the rcas you want to plug it into sub one and sub two outputs the remote wire from the radio itself which is going to be a blue white that's your remote turn on that's going to turn on the amp whenever the radio turns on other than that there's not really much to it i did went ahead and just kind of do a quick tape on some of the open ports um, something is better than nothing so you don't ever want to leave this thing open that way if it doesn't like it touches something else that shouldn't be touching just to kind of protect it a little bit but overall it's not too bad um, I went ahead and cut the reverse wire since there's no reverse camera on this one yet but it is readily available and I uh, zip tied the RCA right there so it's not just dangling Overall, this one's not too bad, so the radio can't go back in. Went ahead and mounted the base knob bracket right here. So all it's gonna do is slide in. Um, it'll be easy for the customer to access and it's not too far out, but yeah, go ahead and screw this in. And then I made sure in the back that there's nothing gonna hit it. That way there's no components or anything that is gonna get drilled on. Um, yeah, just double check, put your finger right here and then Make sure there's nothing behind it, which in this case, it doesn't have any. Just a quick recap. I went ahead and zip tied the RCA and the remote wire going up here. Doesn't have to be fancy, but you always want to secure it. And this one's kind of just going along with the harness. This is where we are right now. Just kind of hanging everything in there, getting ready to run to the back. But you always want to make sure that it's not anywhere near that's moving especially like the steering rod right here yeah zip tie everything and then we're gonna go ahead and put tape separating the rca and the power wire 
since this doesn't have any carpet, you want to always go ahead and put um, tape on it. That way, whenever it sits on the floor, it's not directly just leaning on the metal. The wires are pretty much running under the carpet all the way down here. This is where we are so far. Um, it should come out right about here. That way we can just easily run it to the side of the box itself. Because the ports are going to be on the left side, so we have to run it a little bit extra that way. That way it'll loop. Just because I don't want to flip the thing around. It'll kind of look funny. But yeah, this is where we are so far. We're going to continue running it, and then I'll show you where it's going to come out from. For the ground, I decided to use this spot right here just because it's hollow underneath so you're not gonna hit anything that's vital um, make sure you always scrape the paint when you do ground you can use a wire wheel to make it easier for you or you can use a flathead and scrape it if you don't have one but this is a very important process um, always 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 clean the paint off when you do grounds that's what it should look like always always do the wiggle test just to make sure it doesn't move around or it's not loose run it in the back right there so the carpet will cover it i'm just about ready to wire everything up i just went ahead and zip tie 